Hello everyone, my name is Brian Blessed. It's not, I, I, it's not, it's not at all. My name is Gordy KXC, I'm also known as the Shift HD, and today I'm going to be showing you how to record PC on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. For if you want to edit or anything along the lines of that. So obviously we need to go onto online services. <coughs> we need to go over to theatre. Select our, actually, first of all, sorry, let's go backwards. Let's go to options first of all. Okay, so first of all you see is the graphics ratio. Um, you need to do HD 1920 by 1080 and blah, fucking blah. However, we do have a little bit of a problem now. We can't enable aspect ratio because for some reason Treyarch haven't enabled it. I think it's because it's uh, something to do with DirectX 10 or something. I don't know. But it's not even advanced. So basically you need to put your field of view to 90 um, or 80. It doesn't really matter either one looks good. Uh, afterwards though you want to go into theatre mode and then select film. So I'm going to select any random film. I do not care which one. Actually you know what I will choose the bot one. Bec no. Oh wait. I'm just going to choose a random one. Let's just choose the boat. So afterwards you want to go to Codcast Film. And click on it and wait for it to load up. Once it loads up you need to press the F panel. So you press the F button and it comes up with a panel and then you need to turn things off. Mine are already turned off but it's pretty easy to do so. So okay we'll pause it here and we'll get up the panel. So you press F and you go into options. If it will let me go into bloody up, there we go. You want to turn everything off apart from the kill feed, obviously. You can keep perks on if you spawn, it's entirely up to you. You don't want the radar and you don't want anything else to come up. So let's press F again and we get back to the main page and let's just continue on. <coughs> uh, I don't get clips that often in Black Ops because PC is a lot harder to get clips and keep up the kill feed and things like that. Uh, whilst uh, on console there's only obviously like 12 players on the game and they're all pretty shit. So, Alright we're just going to take it off on one random bit that I'm coming up that's coming up here. So you want to time scale it to 0 0.2 and get rid of the I add you know the actual F4 where it's got all the timeline and shit like that. So basically I would now be recording and the reason why we do it in time scale 0 0.2 is because if we're filming with fraps it basically when we slow mo and then speed up the clip to normal time it and it kind of puts an effect of a motion blur and adds the fact that F more FPS is being used so it becomes smoother and blah blah fucking blah. So at the moment I'm recording in between 60 and 120 frames per second so if I time scaled that down to 0 0.2 it would be 4 times obviously so 4 times 60 and what is that? That's 240 so yeah I would be using basically 240 frames per second but then again 4 times 120 I'd be using 480 frames per second. So you get the picture uh, Black Ops actually does enable automatically at max on multiplayer 200 frames per second so in theory you can use 800 frames per second fraps clips if your PC is GTX 690 quad SLI malarkey you know all that bollocks even though this game just does run really well on its own but I do have a fairly powerful graphics card anyway so we're going to stop recording here as uh, there's not much I can really do and anyway I'm going to be using a different clip but I'm just saying for this for reference so now we're going to meet each other in Sony Vegas where I can finish off the rest of the tutorial so I shall be back in a second guys bye hello and welcome to my desktop people now all we're going to do is open up Sony Vegas Okay, so once we've got it open, you need to actually import your clip. So you need to go into the computer and actually find your file. I'm going to take a different clip entirely. So, okay, let's make a full screen. And let's find the hit marker, shall we? Okay, there's a hit marker. So this is actually, this would be your actual clip that you're trying to import. So the first thing you would actually do is right click on the actual video file and disable maintain aspect ratio. Afterwards, you would then want to hold control and go to the end of your clip. So holding control, you then want to click onto it and drag it all the way backwards until it can go as far back as it possibly can. After which, 
you actually want to go over to your audio file of the actual game if you recorded file uh, the audio but I suggest you actually just delete it or just keep the shot in reference to where you need it afterwards you want to go into the actual properties you want to go to normalize recalculate and lock to stretch click OK play the clip and it should sound okay to you mine won't because this this was filmed in normal in real time and I've just basically sped it up so I'll just show you what I've done basically at the moment nope I can't even do that yeah you see that it's sped up like fuck so we're gonna stop <coughs> and find the hit marker again and I'm just gonna control Z what I've done to it apart from control aspect ratio let's go Okay, so let's find the hit marker again. There it is. Now, afterwards, you obviously just want to get your pan crop up. You just want to pan crop it to what you would think it would look like, keeping sure that the uh, that the actual hit marker is in aspect ratio. So that clearly isn't because of the field of view has gone up since I last recorded. So you want to make it a little bit bigger and make sure that the finally the, the, the kill feed and the actual hit marker and people look all in aspect ratio that's obviously because we haven't got the 4x3 anymore this is so that guy looks pretty elongated so you know maybe put a bit, bit more on it and he looks fine now Okay, so there is a bit of a crop on it, but there isn't too much. But you can obviously play around with it. Try 80 field of view if you can. It looks a lot better when I didn't edit. Um, I'll show you. I'll link back to one of my edits that I've done back in the past with Black Ops. But at the moment, this is really all we can do because there's no AVO function. No AVI demo. So this is all we have to put up with for now. So anyway people, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you can call it a tutorial, in a way. I don't really think it is. Anyway people, I shall see you all soon. Uh, I'm the Shift HD, also Chronic KXE, also the Inspector. I do random impressions, I get high and fucking blah blah blah. Bye! Subscribe and shit.